If I'll say I don't need anyone I can say anything to you Though I can turn on anyone Just like I turn on you I got a jump like a racer Switch play the night I can do your favorite But you do whatever I like Here I am And you're a big queen And I feel a little young But honey I ain't naive Here I am You're a big queen Oh yeah And I feel so much But honey I'm a bit of a fiend And welcome back ladies and gentlemen To another edition here Of Monday Night Wrestle Vessel For the week of April the 29th, 2013. And we're ready for another great show from me and the Aftershock. So let's get into the news right away. The first thing is, who defeated Hurricane Helms for the hardcore title at WrestleMania 18? Again, our trivia question this week. Who defeated Hurricane Helms for the hardcore title at WrestleMania 18? And now let's get into our news for this week. Brett the Hitman Hart was recently interviewed. He's on good terms with Mr. Vince McMahon. He also is honored at the number of wrestlers who have come up to him and they've complimented him saying that their best match was against him. He said the list includes the likes of Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning, The Rocket, Owen Hart, The British Bulldog, Davey Boy Smith, The Undertaker, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. So Bret Hart very touched by how wrestlers have come up to him and complimented him on being their best match ever. Mick Foley has recently voiced his opinion on who he wants into the Hall of Fame. The list includes the likes of The Freebirds, the Macho Man Randy Savage, and Paul Barron. Jeff Hardy had a recent interview. He likes TNA more than WWE since he has more freedom to be creative. You know, he can do his little own thing, not be yelled at by Mr. McMahon and the creative team. And he also mentioned that Sting and the Ultimate Warrior were his favorite wrestlers growing up. Uh, Jeff has also said that him and Matt Hardy are on good terms, and Matt has been very busy wrestling on the indie scenes and doing stuff with the Ring of Honor, ROH, and a couple other fe- uh, federations. Diamond Dallas Page has announced that Stone Cold Steve Austin is giving DDP Yoga a try. He's going to do it for about a month, and we'll see if uh, Austin will post the results on his uh, podcast show or website or anything like that. Charlotte, North Carolina will be having a wrestling fan fest in early August. Bob Caudle, who used to be in the uh, NWA as a commentator back in the late 80s, um, he's been hyping the event on YouTube, and uh, we'll stick around and see how that turns out. That schedule will be in early August in uh, the North Carolina area, where WCW slash NWA was very big. Rosa Mendez was sent home early from the WWE European Tour due to too much partying. It is unknown if she's going to be punished with a suspension or a firing or anything, but for now she was just sent home from the European tour last week. Jake the Snake Roberts is feeling really good about himself. He recently told Bill After that he feels that he's in better shape than he was in 1992. He said he even wants to enter the 2014 Royal Rumble and possibly win it. So things are really looking up for Jake the Snake Roberts. Let's see if the results follow soon with Scott Hall, who recently had his surgery. On SmackDown, The Undertaker was attacked by The Shield. Does this mean that Dean Ambrose is getting a big push soon? Stay tuned and find out in the coming weeks and months. But uh, I think it would mean good sign for the wrestler Dean Ambrose, who was the one who faced Undertaker. So when the group breaks up, he might be the one that gets the big push. And now our trivia answer from last week. Brian Clark's original name in WCW was The Night Stalker. He competed at Starcade in 1991 where he teamed up with Rick Steiner and they took on Vader and Mr. Hughes. So be- before he became Adam Bomb, he was called the Night Stalker. And now our Wrestler of the Week. We're going to honor ourselves, Triple T Hamilton and The Aftershock. We bring you this great show every week. Um, recently we've not gotten too many comments though. So guys, please leave comments on our videos. Uh, we want to discuss more topics, issues, things you want to discuss, questions you may have. We'd love to bring it up right here on the show, so please leave your comments in the future. But hats off to myself and the Aftershock, who bring you the show each and every week. And uh, we'll be back with some more news coming soon. And Aftershock, don't forget, he's going to be doing that fan fest in, uh, in June. I'm going to that event in early June, so stay tuned for that. This is the WrestleVest reporting for another edition of Monday Night WrestleVest.